where I'm going to get money tonight. Love me some chocolate syrup. Butter stick. <laughs> Bam. I'm sorry, I tripped. Hey. <laughs> Bam. Bam! Firm and getting away. Furman versus Bertha. You were found guilty and sentenced to death penalty. No. Supreme Court case of 179 is open. Furman versus State of Georgia. The resident of William McKee was shot by William Furman, who said he allegedly tripped before the shooting, and he was sentenced to the death penalty in the district court and state court. The defendant made a claim that the death penalty is cruel and an unusual punishment under the Eighth Amendment. What do you have to say, Mr. Furman? I am an innocent African American. Calm down, Furman. Calm down, Furman. I'll handle this. I got my kids. I'll handle this, Furman. 
My client is being underrepresented. He's being fairly untreated because he's homeless, he's low income, he's insane, and he's African American. Your Honor, you know if this was a white man sitting here, he wouldn't get death. And the prosecutor's claim is? We say the defendant is guilty and should be charged with the death penalty. He has had two different conflicting stories. He's saying that he tripped, and then he had another story. This defendant cannot be trusted. He should be sentenced to death, just like any other criminal would be. Would you like to call anyone on stand? Yes, I would like to call the defendant, Mr. Furman, to the uh, stand. So, Mr. Furman, what happened on the night of the crime? Well, I was hungry. I'm a homeless man. I don't have a lot of food. So I went, knock, 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 rung their doorbell. I rung their doorbell, and they graciously accepted me, took me out to dinner. After, they took me to an alley, started beating me up, dragged him into their house. They started hitting me, hitting me. I said, I don't want to use this gun. Hit me again. I tripped, and I accidentally shot the papa. That's not the story you testified to. What story? The story where you said that you broke into their house. All right, I was super duper 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 hungry. All right, man. They had an open window. They had an open window. So I jumped in. I jumped in. They had some good chocolate syrup. I'm telling you the best. All right, so I went. I ate my chocolate syrup. That guy jumped on me. He started attacking me. He pulled a knife on me. What are you expecting me to do? I tried running away peacefully. I tripped and I shot him. That's enough. He's making a mockery of the court. Judges, let's... I will not make it. We are closing your case. That's it. Closing mm -hmm. statement. They're good. They're good. Alright, the court is now back in session and uh, the final verdict is that it has been ruled unconstitutional under the Eighth Amendment and he's been unfairly treated under the base of race, low income, and he's insane, so he'll be sentenced to life in prison. Yeah, I'm not gonna die today. Why is he being so loud? Idiot, you're so loud. Yeah. Go. Farm again, money tonight. <laughs> Go. What, mama? Billy, come here, son. What you doing in the kitchen? <laughs> come on, bro. Come on. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Man, let me do it. No, go, go, go. You Furman versus Berto. You were found guilty. Of what? You're guilty. Of what? You're just guilty. What's my sentence? <laughs> yeah. And the prosecutor's claim. <laughs> and the prosecutor's claim is. <laughs> I believe it. Go. And the prosecutor. <laughs> and the prosecutor. <laughs> and the prosecutor. <laughs> I don't know, I'm weak in this. <laughs>